Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about a situation that you might be familiar with. So basically we would like to install the pip package manager on our CentOS nodes and for this I have spin up my CentOS A machine and we are going to create a script which is uses which uses the HTTP methods from the APIs provided by the NoName plugins to download the pip installer, copy it to our hosts and execute that very installer. So let's say this is the ninth script that we would like to create and what we need to do is to import from the Nornir the init Nornir and from the Nornir Nornir plugins tasks APIs import the HTTP method and from the Nornir plugins tasks files we will need the write file and the SFTP as well and from the Nornir plugins tasks commands we would like to import the remote command and from the Nornir plugins tasks not tasks functions text import the print result and we would like to create our an R object with the init nornir and the config file is business as usual and we would like to create our hosts variable with the nr.filter and we say that the site is home and the role is host <coughs> so just to make sure that everything is working properly we would like to execute the ninth great now what we need to do on our CentOS machine for this to work is to edit with the sudo the Etsy sudoers I said Etsy sudoers sudo Airs. Great. Now what I would like to do is to create a passwordless sudo for this user and this is the section that needs to be added. So no one here all all, no password all. This means that we can execute everything with sudo without any password. Alright, now what we would like to do is to download pip and the host run the task is the HTTP method and we would like to use the method which is get uh, on the URL and let me copy and paste it so this is the official URL for the PI, PI package now what we would like to have under the pip variable is the result or rather download pip and host one dc one and the result and let's just print this result this uh, pip variable just to make sure that we are able to download appropriately oh yeah so this is the pip installer that we have just downloaded and uh, this is where the write file comes into picture so we would like to create pip and hosts run task is write file and we would like to have the file name set to get pip.py under the temp folder and the content is going to come from the pip variable all right now that we have created the file successfully 
what we need to do is to copy pip because write file create a file locally so task sftp action is going to be put and oh yeah let's just remove this and the file or the source that we would like to put is the get pip dot py and the destination is going to be the temp get pip dot py now let's see how this fares so we have downloaded we have created the file and we have copied the file to the destination place and if it returns the prompt without errors we should have under the temp the get pip dot py very well now we have the get pip what we need to do is execute it so execute equals hosts run task is the remote command and we would like to have the command equals python temp get pip.py executed and print result which is going to be execute now if everything goes well we should be able to see that the pip was successfully installed with the warning stating that this is kind of something that is going to expire or outdated but but basically we have achieved our goal in this sense very well now it seems that this is working and uh, technically this is all i wanted to show you in this video see you in the next one